let's fix battery drain in iOS 16. Now, if you've upgraded to the latest iOS 16 on your iPhone, you might have noticed that all of a sudden your battery is really draining quickly. There are a few different things that we can do to help keep your battery life stable and make sure that you get the full day's worth of using your iPhone. Now, let's go into our settings here and we'll do a few different things. And we'll work our way down. The first thing that we'll do is tap on Bluetooth right here. And Bluetooth isn't necessarily needed if you're not using it currently, but it sends out a signal and that is yet another thing that uses energy. So I'm gonna to toggle off Bluetooth. You can turn it on if you specifically need it at some point, but this helps to reduce the battery consumption. And then we will turn that off and go into personal hotspot, make sure that is turned off as well. The general theme of all of these is if you're not using it and it runs continuously, it's better to turn it off. So let's keep going down here and let's tap on general. And you can see general here, midway down is background app refresh. This is another big killer of batteries. It's allowing all of those apps to refresh in the background and constantly update. I'm gonna turn all of those to off here because I don't want any apps to refresh in the background. If I open them up, sure they can refresh, but I don't want them to be doing that just because they're in the background on my iPhone. Now, let's keep going down this list. I think that's pretty good for this one. Let's go back here and let's keep going down and go to battery right here towards the bottom. Now there are a couple different things that we can do here. We can always turn on low power mode and this does a few different things. It reduces background activity like downloads and mail fetch until you can fully charge your phone. And you'll also notice that it dims the iPhone slightly which helps to keep battery life and prolong how long you can use your phone before you need to charge it again. But if you don't wanna turn that on, you can tap on battery health here. And I recommend tapping optimize battery charging on. This will help not necessarily today, but over the lifespan of your battery, it will help to keep it running as best as it can. You can see at the top here, I have 89% of my maximum capacity. That's not great. The phone is, I don't know, maybe 15 months old or something like that it should stabilize right around 85% and not go down much from there. But the first year of using an iPhone, you do see a drop off there in maximum capacity. Um, maximum capacity. So let's go back again, and we're gonna continue our way down. We're gonna go into privacy and security here. And then the top is location services. Now this is another thing that is constantly on depending on what you've set it at. And again, this uses a lot of battery. So you could choose to turn location services completely off. However, if you have things like Google Maps, Apple Maps, different things that you do want that location, then you wanna be able to turn those on. So you can see here, I have most of these turned off except a few of them turned on while using. And you'll see that I don't think I have any single one turned on to always. So I don't want any app to track my location always. Part of that is just because of privacy, but then also that helps with the battery life. And then you can always go into system services here at the bottom and toggle any of these that you don't really care about, turn them off, and this will help keep your battery life. Now let's continue to go back here. I'm just gonna go back to the main screen here. And the last thing that I will have you do is just tap on the mail app here. And then we will tap on where it says accounts. And then at the bottom here is it says fetch new data. This is a really common one that will eat up your battery life is if you're fetching new mail from your phone, what will happen is say manually every 15 minutes, every hour, it will request all this mail and that will eat up your battery life a lot. Just set it so that everything is set to manual and then you won't be able to get um, those mails automatically, but if you open up the mail app, it will refresh all those mail and you'll get new emails, but it won't eat up your battery life in the you know, background running. Hope this helps. Thanks for your time today and I'll see you on the next one.